The purpose of Mocha Mental Magic is to pour into people of faith and people of color on the value of mental wellness. Mocha Mental Magic is everything. Um, really, I want it to be a part of something for us, for black and brown women coming together, being able to be, have a safe space to be transparent, to be open, to be honest, and to get healing. It is a movement like this that the world needs to see um, because we got to get tired of suffering in silence. And so that's why I support M3. Self-care has been classified as something that is based on materialistic items, but I've come to find out that soul care is self-care. When you're able to take care of the inner you, things that people cannot see, it radiates to a place that a price tag could never buy. Like they say on the airplane, you can't help others until you help yourself. Don't put the mask on the baby first, the oxygen mask. Put it on yourself. I'm about that. I'm learning ways to make me a better person so that I can be and serve my community better and my family better. Bananas. There's no other way to describe it. You know, to the outside people who don't know the inside connection, just know bananas, what does that mean? When people say bananas, that means what? Just crazy, stupid, over the top. And that's just a small portion of where it's gonna go. There's four, three, two, step to your right, beat it up, let's go. Yeah. But we have life coaches, we have fitness instructors, we have financial consultants, we have so many different people from different hats. Um, because we all can benefit from mental wellness. You don't have to be a clinician to be able to pour into someone about the value of mental wellness. Self-care can be difficult if we do not manage our time. Self-care can be difficult if we do not set boundaries. Self-care can be difficult when we make excuses. So that's why for women it can be um, a task because we're scared of um, forgetting someone else or leaving someone else hanging and then we forget about ourselves. So once you put those things in place, self-care is easy. So many times as women, we assume that someone else knows how we feel. And we are all God's creatures, but we are made individually in His image. So no one can tell you exactly what you need but yourself. It's, it's not just a career, it's not just a job, it's not just a passion, but it's also a, a ministry. And I really believe that uh, in order for the people of God to be free, uh, we must explore mental health. We cannot continue to pour from an empty cup. So coming here allows me to help pour into other women so they can go and really live their purpose, live their best life, and, and come back. Because you know we're going to be doing it for years to come. It's such a more concise way to operate. And so the app literally starts the conference. It gets introduced or it opens up to all people that have registered a month before the conference actually starts. So people are able to interact, get to know each other virtually, and the app is available six months after the conference. And so they will continue to be able to interact and connect. They'll continue to be able to patronize the vendors. They'll continue to be able to get in touch with the speakers that might have spoke to them, right? Um, and it's an experience or an opportunity for us to just have a circle of hope. And our virtual audience tripled from last year. It tripled. So we have people that are on today from Alaska, from Arizona, from Ohio, from Tennessee, um, I think New York. So that, that's the expansion or the big difference. Our virtual audience is increasing. Since y'all stopped by and supported, I'll give you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you an opportunity for entrepreneurs to get their brand out there because um, it's important to patronize brown people in my opinion and so I purposely seek out vendors so that they can have an experience to get their products before people and last year was a, a raving success this year I expect nothing less the meditation pods are a vision that I had an opportunity for women to take a pause, to take a pause and sit down for about 10 to 15 minutes 
and again, just WUSA. We've given them some playlists, so that's in the app. They can select one of our playlists or they can create their own, go into a meditation pod, zip up, zip up and just breathe. They can pray, they can take a nap. Again, they can listen to one of the uh, playlists, but it gives them an opportunity to just nurture themselves. Self-care is fleeting, but soul care is everlasting. Can I pray about 10 women in this place uh, and say, be yourself? You ought to look at a mocha mama and say, be yourself. Worth it. Worth it. Look forward to coming back. Can't wait to have the entire weekend reserved just to be focused on myself. This is part of self-care. It shows that it's a movement. It's more than just a conference or just a meeting of minds. It's establishing a new way of life for so many people. And on Sunday, we gathered in the courtyard in the early morning to share a brown sugar moment as we closed out the conference. It was an opportunity for us to offer praise and worship to God for meeting us there at the conference. So many sacred and vulnerable testimonies were shared, and it was a confirmation for me of why Mocha Mental Magic was created. It brought me so much joy to hear we shed tears, we laughed, we hugged, but most of all, we celebrated the fact that brown people of faith could in fact come together and do something wonderful and have a resource that can help them to restore their hope, to heal, to experience breakthroughs and deliverance. And that's how we closed out our conference, celebrating that experience. To God be the glory, because one thing that is consistent from last year to this year is from the moment you stepped on this property, you can feel the presence of God. The glory of God is in this place. And that for me is the greatest confirmation. It will behoove you in this season to get connected, not just to the couch, but to the altar. I believe that both work hand in hand. Soul care is self-care. I'll see you in 2023.